100 to the a plus 1000 to the a equal to 36 and a is a real number if you pay attention 100 and 1000 are powers of 10 so we can write 10 squared instead of 100 and instead of 1000 we can write 10 cubed to the a equal to 36 now we should use a basic thing in power rule that x to the m to the n equal you can switch m and n x to the n to the m equal to x to the m times n now we can switch 2 and a here 10 to the a to the 2 plus 10 to the a to the 3 equal to 36 now we can use changing variable and we can say okay 10 to the a equal to y so we can write y squared because plus y cubed equal to 36 now because the degree is 3 we should find at least one root one useful idea so if you check for example y1 small y2 small because 12 y3 if you check y3 it will be 9 3 squared 9 plus 27 3 cubed equal to 36 so y3 is one answer and then we will find corresponding a now we take all things to the left hand side and rearrange y cubed plus y squared minus 36 equals 0. Because y3 is one root, we can factorize y minus 3 is one factor. y squared y cubed plus mi minus 3y squared. We have plus y squared, so we place plus 4y, then we have plus 4y squared minus 12y. We don't have y here, so we place plus 12. And it will be plus 12y plus minus 36. Now, product of two terms equal to zero. First one is zero. We've checked this. Y equals three. Or second one is zero. We want to prove second one cannot be zero in real numbers. It has two ways. One way with quadratic formula. If you have quadratic formula like this, delta or discriminant. A is real number. So Y is real number. If X is real number, B squared minus 4AC should be at least zero. If you apply it here, Delta or discriminant is 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times C, 12. 16 minus 48, which is obviously less than 0, so we don't have any real solution here. So our only answer is y equals 3. y equal to 10 to the a. So we can say 10 to the a is 3. For this part, we should know logarithm, the definition of logarithm. If in logarithm, let me write... If we have b to the m equal to a, then we can say by definition of logarithm, m equal to log b of a. So here we can conclude a equal to log 10 of 3. So it is our only real solution. Okay, if you had question, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.